it's me again. We're going to start our new unit on astronomy. We have two units left, astronomy and weather and climate. Astronomy, I like to begin with what's called a pre-assessment. Right? This will help me understand what you may already know. And some of you may know quite a bit. Some of you may not know anything, and that's okay. It will help me better teach this unit once I know where you're coming from, where you're at. Okay. Uh, everyone will need a sheet of printer paper. Mrs. Fryman will give out uh, everyone a sheet of printer paper. On one side of it, please put your name in the upper left corner, and today's date, 4 7 15. In the upper right, put astronomy, and then on the underneath that, put page one. You're going to put towards the top, in a big oval, the word schools. Okay, so I'm going to talk about semantic maps or uh, theme maps or graphic organizers. And we're going to start talking about generalities, and then I'm going to have you do one on schools. And then I'm going to have you save that sheet of paper, because then we're going to flip it over on the back, and we're going to do our activity for astronomy. Okay, so let me talk about concept maps. Concept maps, thematic maps, uh, semantic maps, uh, start off with a big concept. So you can see right here the big concept, and then everything that is related to it comes underneath it. Usually they're connected with arrows, all right, and they have the arrowhead to show which way the relationship is. And then they're usually words. So here you can see the words goes above, okay, or has, okay, big concept, has subordinate concepts, smaller concepts that are related to it. Uh, it also goes above the other concepts. These other concepts are linked by lines that show relationships. These lines have labels. They make it clear what the relationships are. And they can be verbs or they can be prepositions, Okay, such as change, is, have for the verbs, to, by, and with for the preposition. So if I zoom out here, here's what a concept map looks like. Okay, So what we're going to do, it's pretty simple, we're going to create a mind map. I want to know what's in your brain for astronomy and how you have it organized. Okay, before we do that, we are going to talk about schools. Okay, so we're going to start with, let me just fix this here, the word schools on your sheet of paper like I told you to, and I'm going to give you the first level. Schools are for people, so you can see the words are for right here, people. Over here, there's nothing. I want you to put a word there to show the relationship between schools and buildings. That when a person reads this, they'll say, oh, this is how buildings and schools are related. Okay. For the rest of this activity, Mrs. Friedman is going to pause the video. And then what I want everyone to do, do this in your, by yourself first. Okay. If you have questions, ask a question. But try to set up, going from these first two levels, how you can do uh, how schools are related. There, the great thing is there's no right or there's no wrong answer. Okay, So set up your map, how you understand schools, and then Mrs. Fryman will, when everyone's finished, uh, resume the video and talk more about this in just a second. So Mrs. Fryman, if you would please, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now we're back. So you have schools. They are for people. I had you put a word in here for buildings. Okay, uh, you could put schools consist of buildings, have buildings, okay, are made up of different buildings. Underneath the uh, people, this is what I came up with, people such as students. Students obviously go to schools. Uh, administrators, Mr. Barlow, Mrs. Boyce, Mr. Chartrand, they work at the school. And teachers like myself and Mrs. Ryman and everyone else. All right. Over the buildings, the buildings have classrooms. Inside those classrooms, they have equipment, and they have desks and chairs. Now, is that all they have? No, they have lots of stuff. We could go on forever, but we don't need to know every last detail about schools. Okay? So, here's what we're going to do. On the back of that sheet of paper, here's the sheet of paper that has schools written on it, that you did your map right here. You're going to flip it over, fill out the heading just like you did before. Here's mine, Mr. Doe, 4715, Astronomy, page 2, and then the big concept here is the word universe. I want to know what you know about the universe. Before you start writing, though, let me give you some guidelines here. Okay? These are some questions I want you to think about. 
all right? You don't necessarily have to uh, address them in your concept map, but think about them and it will help you uh, figure out how to organize it, okay? First off, number one, how do astronomers study the universe? Okay, think about that. Two, how old is the universe? You may know, you may not know. That's great. How do we know that? What kinds of objects do you find in the universe? What is the universe made up of? How do objects in the universe form? In what ways do the universe and its objects change over time? And number six, what causes these changes? All right, so these are some guiding questions. You may not necessarily choose to answer all of them with your map, that's fine. But what I would like you to do, after you've thought about these questions, I would like you to construct a map of your ideas about the universe. Your map should follow the directions your teacher has given you, that's me, for making a concept map. So there it is, universe, all right, in an oval. All right, it doesn't have to be an oval, it could be any shape you want. And I would like you to create your map. Please do this on your own, okay? I'm interested in what you understand. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. I want to know what do you already know and what do you not already know? So when you're finished with this, you're going to turn this into Mrs. Fryman, and then you can work in your review books on the first review assignment, okay? Uh, homework number one. Thank you. I'll put these questions back up here. Mrs. Fryman can hit pause, and you can have these to refer to. Questions?